I was watching one of Ali Abdal's videos the other day in which he talked about a number of different topics. What I found interesting is he included a progress bar at the bottom just to let the viewers know how much time he spends on each topic and I found this really helpful. Today I want to show you how you can add this to your video using Final Cut Pro. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you find this video helpful, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more like it. First, let's take a look at how to add a progress bar at the bottom of your video clip. And this is actually really simple. Skim your clip in the timeline and with your skimmer over the frame you want to start on, press I on your keyboard to set an end point. Skim to the frame you want to end on and press O to set an out point. With the range selected in your timeline, press Option Command 1 to go to the Titles and Generators browser, open the Generators dropdown and click on the Solids category. Select the Custom Generator and press Q to perform a 3 point connect edit. Hold down the Option key and click on your Generator clip to select it and at the same time move your playhead over it and press Command 4 to open the Inspector window. Select the Generator Inspector and pick the color you want for your progress bar. Go back to the Video Inspector and crop off the top of your Generator clip until a line left at the bottom is the size you want. Press the up arrow key to go to the start of your generator clip and in the inspector, click on a value beside the right crop slider. Enter a number that matches your horizontal video resolution. My project is 4K, so I'll enter 3840. But if yours is HD, you'd enter 1920. Add a keyframe here to the right crop slider. Move your playhead to the end of your generator clip and move your right crop slider all the way back down to zero. Now, when you play back your clip, your progress bar at the bottom moves with it. If you need to adjust the timing of your bar, select the generator clip in your timeline and press Ctrl V to show video animation. Click and drag one of the keyframes in the trim bar to adjust the start or end points of your animation. Let's take a look at how you can make a circular progress bar. For this, you'll need a Better Shapes Generator plugin, which you can download for free from my website. After installing it, select Better Shapes in the Generators browser and add the Circle Generator to your timeline. In the Video Inspector, change the rotation of this generator to negative 90 degrees. Select the Generator Inspector, deselect Fill and select the Outline checkbox. Adjust the color and line width of your circle and use the Transform tool to adjust the size and position. Hold down the Option key and drag up on this clip to make a copy of it. Make sure the bottom generator clip is selected and change the color of it to gray. Select the top generator clip, move your playhead to the start and head up to the video inspector. Change the start and end caps to none and bring the last point offset slider all the way down to zero. Add a keyframe here. Move your playhead to the end of your generator clip and bring the last point offset slider all the way up. And just like before, you can adjust the timing of this animation by opening video animation and adjusting keyframes in the circle bar. I hope you found this video helpful and if you haven't yet, go to my website and download the Better Shapes Generator plugin. The one that comes with Final Cut Pro leaves a lot to be desired, so I made a better one, and it's completely free. I'll link it in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.